So I mean, this this so the, basically the statement is, <laughs> we should, uh, somebody's complaining about the the AI price predictions. Uh, what's, what's his name? Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah, bad and B. So I mean, so one mis one misunderstanding people have that seems to be causing way too much confusion. Um, so if we go to the price predictions here, right? These, yes, these are not fixed price predictions, right? Uh, these are rolling price predictions. What does that mean? That means that it updates after every daily close, right? We've put out lots of videos out there, but we, we understand it's an issue. So our team is working on, on updating this to have two different kinds of predictions to make things easier for people to understand. But basically, our models look at the historical price. So today is October 11th, right? So it looks at every price for Monero up to October 11th that we have in our system. And it will then use that price to predict the next 30 days, right? What does that mean? That means it's looking at every price that has closed, that has officially closed. So if you come back here after a week, yes, the prediction will be, will be different for the next one month because now we have a week's worth of data that has officially closed and is now historical price. And that one week will then factor into the prediction to predict the next one month, right? So that's the confusion some people have been having with, with the predictions. And our team is working on trying to see how we can make that a lot easier for people to, to understand and trade off, right? So basically, how should you trade the price predictions? So I would say use them as a way to kind of forecast where the trend is going Right? Do not come here, make a trade, and vanish for a month and come back and expect the thing to, to be the same. Right? Because if you, if, if you vanish and come back in two weeks, there'll be two weeks worth of new closed historical data that has been added to the prediction. Right? But past predictions do not change. Past, past predictions are the same. Right? Once that prediction is closed, it's final. I mean, right? I mean, I mean sorry, once, that, once the actual price is closed, it's final. Right? And that closed price is then used to make that prediction, right? So uh, that's basically that. Uh, now, the way we plan to make things a lot easier to understand for everybody, uh, we do plan to launch two new grades. We're actually, we're doing a total, a complete redesign of our grading system to make it easier, right? To, make, to actually make it, to simplify everything we have, because we have too many grades and it's getting too confusing for people, right? Because we have, we have trader and value investor, then we have the, the final grades, we have fundamentals, technology, monthly PA, we have the price predictions. So what we're doing is we'll have just two grades, trader and value investor, right? And those grades will, will be basically the, the final grades, the overall grades. All these other subgrades will vanish, right? Because we think uh, it's too confusing for everybody, right? So the new value investor grade will basically be the quant grade we've talked about. And in, in our back testing that has Obviously not, not perfect, and this is not any kind of investment advice per se, uh, but in our back testing, it has 76% accuracy, right? Uh, and then we've come up with a new trader grade that combines the monthly TA grade with the price prediction grade to form one grade because the, and the accuracy on that in our testing is 68.5%, right? And that's based on looking, I'm basically combining the two grades and then using our AI models to come up with a grade on that, right? So, I mean, this has been back tested and we think having these two grades is better than anything we have thus far, right? Because for perspective, a good trader is about 55% 55, 55 accurate and a genius trader is about 60% in terms of accuracy. So to get this to this new level, uh, it's definitely taking some time, right? And we think this will be for the better for the platform and it will also allow us to fully automate everything, meaning there'll be no more human input. We can then just, for example, import new coins and grade them a lot faster. Because as you see, uh, one of the feedback we have is we have lots of projects that are still scoring because we have humans going there and actually doing the analysis. But now we have a very great system to go through and automate the process through the, the new grades we have, right? So we plan to hopefully have that by this month. Our team is still making some, some changes because we do have to basically redesign the entire grading system. And then we'll also have to create new indices for those, right? So for example, if we go to the indices page and all these, all these indices we have, 
everything will, will, will change to be based on those, on those new grades. And we think that will be a lot better, right? So that's kind of how that works. Uh, but as usual, we're always open to feedback. If you have any feedback, just uh, go to feedback.tokenmetrics.com uh, or just email our support at support at tokenmetrics.com or just contact us at the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the, the new updates coming to Tokenmetrics. Uh, but just know uh, we're, we're always innovating. Uh, we know last month was pretty rough for crypto and also the indices, uh, but we've, we've learned, we know exactly what to do. The indices now are back to recommending stable coins uh, regardless, regardless of what, what people say, all right? So that way when, when hedges, when it's time to hedge, it will actually hedge, all right? Um, any comments to add to that, Bill? Yes. So when, with, when it comes to price predictions, think of it this way. A computer is reading a chart. It's trying to use the last 30 days to predict the future. It's doing the same thing that I might do. It's using its brain to try to think about the future based on what it sees from the past. Now, those systems, like human chart readers, usually do better when the market is trending. When the market gets choppy, they can still work, but they may not have the incredible, you know, art museum beauty we had in Chainlink on the last leg up. So it's, it's not perfect and it usually works better in a trending market. Now that said, the market may start trending. So now is definitely not the time to get discouraged on price predictions. It's time to find some coins you like, get involved. And then if price prediction kicks in in your favor, use it as a tool to add to positions. Okay. In other words, use it as confirmation of what you think. Don't use it to be what you think. Well said, well said. Uh, great words of uh, wisdom. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. All right. Um, tell us what you think down in the comments below.